ready? Okay. Happy Thursday. Is it Thursday? It is Thursday. You guys, we're on the finale. Look how far we've come together, you guys. Look how far we've come. I'm feeling a little sentimental. You guys, my name is Dion Woods. I'm with the Turquoise Iris. You can find my work at theturquoiseiris.com, but it's, um, I like to come on here and show you how I paint. I do tutorials. Um, I have in-person workshops. I am actually planning our very first retreat for my Creative Connection group um, in Waco next June. I'm giving them ladies plenty of time to get planning. Um, we've got lots of things going on. But I wanted to just pop on here for the finale, you guys. This is, um, well, that's great, BJ Willer. I'm glad that you're here. Listen, um, this is part five, no, six, and it also happens to be the finale. So if you have caught one through five, then you know exactly what I've done and exactly what I've been working on. If this is your first time here, um, I have painted this entire piece of furniture live for you all, step-by-step -step instruction. All of the products have been named and listed. Um, all of those videos can also be found on the replay on YouTube and also um, on Facebook. The name of this makeover is called Under the Boardwalk. It's part of my summer series. So listen, all we have left to do today. Hello, guys. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, I love being able to create something new that I haven't done before. It almost gives you like a little bit of skepticism, but then a little bit of, yes, okay, doing something I've never done before. So I started this last Friday, five different shades of blue from DIY Paint and layered them in almost like a mosaic style way. And when I say style way, that doesn't make any sense at all. Work with me. So this was my inspiration photo. Mosaic tile wall, look at that, it's gorgeous. And then these gorgeous wooden doors have this wrought iron look. Okay, listen, I hand painted this and I did the absolute best I could. I've never done anything like this before, but I took two products called Dark and Decrepit and Golden Ticket and I mixed them half and half to make a bronze shimmer. So I did this on the live also for you. Um, hi, Carrie, hi, Casey, hi, Karen. I'm so glad you guys are here and thank you for the thumbs up in the hearts and for passing this video along the interwebs. I'm so grateful. All of the products that I've used are going to be listed and pinned uh, under the comments from me. The only thing you haven't seen me do here is uh, I buffed this section yesterday with my brush from Paint Pixie and you want to know something fierce is buff right here this is the name of it it's buff it's by paint pixie um i have a link if you want to try something like this but guys i literally go like this and it creates that really solid durable finish that only wax can give you so i've done that over here and i put the hardware back on just here right before i went live so i could show you what it was going to look like so now i just need to buff this section then it's going to be done, but I also want to show you the side over here because it's time to do my spray wash. If you caught part two, I believe it was, I sprayed blue drippy paint all over the front of this, and I'm going to show you once more how I do that, but on the side. So let's buff this first, and for Instagram, let me move this over because I know you can't see. Um, I don't know about you guys. Kids went back to school today. I have two in high school. Freshman. Senior, it's nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie, nerve wracking, but I just actually heard them pull up outside. <laughs> so I will get off of here in a few minutes and go ask that freshman how his first day in high school was. Brother taking him home. I can literally see the light begin to reflect from here where it wasn't before. It really just takes, like with this, it just takes a couple of minutes. I've had this guy for about a year, um, and as you can see, it still looks perfect. I'm gonna do the bottom, 
and then we'll rotate it and spray our watered down hay sailor on. And it'll be completely finished. Okay, so I've got the front done. I'm really happy with it. If you just popped on, this was my inspiration photo. I was just supposed to, you know, interpret it. Not copy, but interpret it. I love this door. I love the colors together. Um, I used five different shades of blue. I rolled on a pattern with my Lotus Roller, roller from Artistic Painting Studio and gave it kind of a mosaic backdrop. I created the iron design and um, the piece sold before I finished so it's not available but let's let's spray on this side because i was only painting the front of it for you guys so now i need to do hang on hang on let's back up a smidge let me shift this around so you guys can see what I mean when I say put a spray wash, okay. All right. All right, so this is 20 ounces of water mixed with um, one tablespoon of Hay Sailor, which is our beautiful navy from DIY. I also have just regular water handy as well. So this is the four colors of uh, paint that I used on the front. This is what it looked like in part two, and we transformed it to look like this in part three, four, five, and six, okay? So I'm just gonna shake this up a bit. And this is, the reason I say this was for you guys. Thank you for your waves on Instagram. I'm so glad there's people here watching. Um, Guys, this is where it gets a little crazy and people start to freak. So I'm going to do it again. Okay. I say play with it. You know what? I did not think about this over spraying to the side that's done. So I'm going to tilt this around just a little bit more so I don't over spray and get a little bit there. Oh, freak out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, right. So you see how the hay sailor is going to darken it up, but don't panic because before it dries, we're going to grab our regular, just clean, filtered water, and we're going to get it kind of running. If you missed parts one through five, it's still available for you to watch. I never delete any of my videos. I often think that maybe I should, but I don't. Okay. So I'm going to let that continue just to drip again. Keep going. Keep going. Make sure you've got plenty of drop cloths or something down on the bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and just reapply just a little bit more. It's a lot darker, but it will lighten up a little bit because right now the paint is very wet. It's literally just dripping. So it'll dry lighter. It's going to look just like the front. Give me just a couple more minutes. We'll get this going just a little bit more. I just wanted to show you again how I did this in part two because it's the part where everybody goes, stop you're ruining it and then I say no I'm gonna do it anyway so it just basically takes on its own organic look this is exactly what this looked like before I sanded used the roller with the lotus pattern on it sand it again added this do this do this so lots of steps but totally worth it you guys I hope that you enjoyed that um, I will be posting some completed pictures of this piece once I finish this side, the top, and the other side. So give me a couple of days, and I'm excited to share with you all. Y'all have an awesome day. I'll see you very soon.